Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I want to show you guys a really awesome feature that is integrated in iOS 5, and that is the Find My iPhone feature. Now previously, Find My iPhone has been an app that you download from the App Store where you can find your iPhone and do things like lock it. Well now it is integrated into iOS 5, and it is free. So I am actually part of the iCloud beta because again, I am a developer, and I get access to it early, but when it launches this fall, you will all have access to it as well and again this is a free service but for now it does use the mobile me login but again I'm sure that when iCloud goes public it will use the iCloud login and to log in for me I actually used my iCloud beta login and again it is built into settings and you do not have to pay that monthly fee for the iCloud services to actually use the find my iPhone feature so I wanted to show you guys that on my iPhone 4, I am on iOS 5. So in settings, general about, at the bottom it says version 5.0, and also inside of the iCloud settings right there, I wanted to show you that it does say find my iPhone is turned on, and for more proof I will go to Spotlight, and I've already searched for find my iPhone, and it doesn't come up at all. So that means that again, I am running this straight through the settings application instead of the one from the App Store. Uh, one more thing before we get started, I wanted to show you guys that I do not have a passcode set, so that will be important later when I demonstrate that you can actually set a passcode from the Find My iPhone services as well. I'm going to switch on over here to uh, the browser that I have Find My iPhone open in, and here we go. We're going to go ahead and do a demonstration. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do lock and display message. I'm not going to do wipe, but that is an option as well. And obviously it shows you where it is on the map too, but uh, we're not going to get into that. I'm just going to go ahead and lock it first. Now because I do not have a passcode, it will ask me to enter a passcode. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to do 1111, and we're going to go ahead and go next. Now it will ask me to confirm the passcode again, and I will just put in 1111, and we're going to go ahead and hit lock. And as you can see, it's sending it out. And on my iPhone, it will lock here in a second. As you can see, it did indeed lock my iPhone. And we're going to go ahead and go slide to unlock. And the passcode is 1111 now. So that is the demonstration of that. It also says that it sends you out an email to confirm what you just did. So it said it sent out an email to confirm that we did indeed lock my device. Once we have that done, we can then either display a message or play a sound or do both. Now the sound is really annoying, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that, but I will type in a message. So I'm just going to type in, this is a test. And I'm going to uncheck play sound for two minutes because again, that does get annoying. And we are going to send that message and it will say that uh, we have an important message and it will pop up anywhere and it even does show up in notification center as well. So as you can see, it says important message. This is a test. So we can click OK to that. And uh, obviously you can say, you know, this is so and so, this is my phone, please get off of it, return it to this address or something like that. But this is a really awesome feature and I'm really glad that Apple did make it free to everybody instead of having to pay for it. Because again, it just ensures that your device remains safe. I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.